Hey, what's up guys? Hard Lake Joe here, coming at you with the Wadadek Profile for episode 160, Odd Eyes Beatdown. For our monster lineup, we have three Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, one Odd Eyes Lancer Dragon, two Performa Pal Odd Eyes Dissolver, three Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, three Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon, one Supreme King Gate Zero, two Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, three Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, three Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon, and three Archfiend Eccentric. For our spells, we have one Raigeki, three Pot of Desires, three Duelist Alliance, three Dragon Shrine, one Dark Hole, three Terraforming, one Foolish Burial, three Spiral Flame Strike, and three Sky Iris. Our extra deck consists of two Heavy Metal Foes Electromite, two Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, and one each of Rune Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Perform a Pal Gatling Ghoul, Starving Venom, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger, Big Eye, Zephra Metaltron, and a basic nightmare package of Unicorn, Phoenix, and Cerberus. The side deck I'll go over in a bit. So first off, I just want to make a quick note that this deck, like nearly all my decks, is designed to be TCG legal, which is why I've left out all these cards over here. At the time of recording, these are all Japanese exclusive, and I want my deck to be a deck that you can go out and play in real life right now if you want to. With that said, this deck is a go second beatdown deck, which means it's just about piling on as much damage as possible as fast as possible. We accomplish this mainly by just swarming with a bunch of high attack monsters, in particular, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. These are both dark level 7 dragon type monsters with 2500 attack and 2000 defense. This one has the effect that any battle damage it inflicts while attacking a monster is doubled, and this one inflicts 1200 burn damage for each Odd Eyes card in your Pendulum Zone, whatever it inflicts battle damage. In addition, Phantom Dragon also has a once per turn Pendulum effect that says as long as your other Pendulum scale is an Odd Eyes card, you can boost the attack of one monster you control by 1200 when it battles an opponent's monster. These effects, combined with swarming in general, are what allow you to put on such massive amounts of damage on board, usually in excess of 8,000. Nearly everything else in the deck is just about facilitating this swarming. Your main playmaker in that regard is Arc Pendulum Dragon. This is another dark level 7 dragon type monster, but it has a slightly higher 2700 attack and no monster effect. It makes up for that with its amazing Pendulum effect, which states, if an Odd Eyes cards you control is destroyed by any means, you can special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. It's a hard once per turn effect, but it does so much to help the deck in so many different ways. While it can obviously be used defensively during your opponent's turn to replace any monsters that they destroy, it can also be used offensively to put more monsters on board in the first place, since we have numerous ways to trigger it during our turn. The main way you'll be doing this is with our field spell, Sky Iris. In addition to preventing all the Odd Eyes cards in your Pendulum Zone from being targeted by your opponent's card effects, Sky Iris lets you once per turn destroy one face-up card you control and add one Odd Eyes card from your deck to your hand. So, if you have this and Arc Pendulum in one of your scales, you can place any other Odd Eyes card in your other scale, destroy it with Sky Iris, and not only will you get to search any card in the archetype, but Arc Pendulum will summon any monster from the archetype from either your deck, graveyard, or hand, since an Odd Eyes card was destroyed. Uh, furthermore, since the destroyed Pendulum scales go to your extra deck, you can usually Pendulum summon out whatever you destroyed back onto the field, making this combo a solid plus two. Now, the other main way of destroying your Odd Eyes card is with Electromite. I think this card's pretty ubiquitous at this point, so I won't go over its effects in depth, but basically, when it's summoned, you can send a Pendulum Monster from your deck to your extra deck, and then you can destroy a card once per turn to add a card from your extra deck back to your hand. Needless to say, its ability to destroy a scale to recover a card is especially useful in this deck since it combos with Arc Pendulum. Now, in order to make this somewhat consistently, we're playing a basic Dark Worm engine. If you're unfamiliar, this card is a level 4 Dark Dragon-type monster with 1800 attack, 1200 defense, and the following effect. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Supreme King Gate Pendulum monster from your deck to your hand, and if this card is in your graveyard and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. 
This is why we play Dragon Shrine and Foolish Burial. Both of these will let you send Dark Worm to the graveyard, where you can immediately summon it out and get the search. Then, if you have any other low-level monster in your hand, like Eccentric or Mirage Dragon or another copy of Dark Worm, you can normal summon that, and that'll give you the two Pendulum monsters you need to Link Summon Electromite. This thing, in addition to triggering Arc Pendulum's effect, can also search it if you don't already have it. All you gotta do is use its effect to send this from the deck to the extra deck, and then destroy the Gate Zero you got off Dark Worm to add it back to your hand. Uh, speaking of Gate Zero, it's a dark level 7 fiend with zero attack and zero defense, and its effects aren't really useful in this deck, so I won't be going over them. We only really play it because it's a free card that you could search off of Dark Worm, and its stats make it somewhat useful. It's a zero scale, so it, along with Arc Pendulum, will let you summon almost everything in the deck, and since it's a level 7 Dark Pendulum, you can use it as material for Electromite, for Rank 7, and a couple of our Fusion Monsters. We can make these thanks to Perform a Pal Odd Eyes Dissolver. It's a level 8, so we can't Pendulum summon it, but you can summon it off of Arc Pendulum since it's an Odd Eyes card, or you can use its effect, which says at the start of the damage step, if your Pendulum monster battled an opponent's monster, you can summon this from your hand, and if you do, that monster can't be destroyed by that battle. Once it's on the field, you can, during the main phase, Fusion summon one monster using this card, as well as other monsters you control, or cards in your Pendulum Zones. Alternatively, if it's in your hand, you can play it in your scale, where its Pendulum effect states once per turn you can Fusion summon a Dragon-type Fusion monster using cards in your hand or on your field. These two effects allow you to make a number of useful monsters. Vortex Dragon is probably the most useful. It's one Odd Eyes monster fused with one Pendulum monster. When it's summoned, it sends one attack position monster your opponent controls back to the hand, and once per turn it can negate a spell, trap, or monster effect by shuffling a card from your extra deck back into the main deck. This can be useful on offense for clearing monsters like that new Thunder Dragon that aren't easily destroyed. And if you have to go first or can't OTK, this can be a solid option to stun your opponent. In addition, since it's an Odd Eyes card and Arc Pendulum can summon from the graveyard, your opponent can often have a difficult time baiting out the negation. If they Dark Hole or Raigeki it, you can just let it be destroyed, and Arc Pendulum can summon it back to the field from the graveyard to a main monster zone, not only freeing up that space, but keeping its negate ability intact. Our second most useful fusion card is Performa Pow Gatling Ghoul. This is a fiend, so you can only make it with Dissolver on the field, but its materials are a Performa Pow monster and a level 5 or higher dark monster, which means you can use your gate as material if you'd like. In addition to having a solid 2900 attack, it has the following brutal effect. If this card is fusion summoned, inflict 200 damage to your opponent for every card on the field. Then, if it was summoned using a Pendulum monster as material, which it always will be in this deck, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls without targeting it, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Uh, needless to say, this thing can deal massive amounts of damage, and is very useful for finishing off your opponent when your attacks alone can't quite do the job. Our final two fusion monsters, Starving Venom and Rune Eyes, are both more situational. Venom can gain attack equal to the attack of a special summoned monster on the field, and Rune Eyes can attack two or three times against monsters, depending on what material you use. These are optional and rarely summoned, but there are times when they can let you OTK when you otherwise wouldn't be able to. The rest of our extra deck is just a toolbox of Rank 7 Ixies and Link Monsters. I'd highly recommend Flare Metal Dragon, since its burn effect can be a great way to cap off the duel if you leave your opponent with less than a thousand life points. But really, you can play whatever you want. These are just some of my favorites. As for the rest of the main deck, I'll just go over everything I didn't talk about in order. Lancer Dragon is basically just a big 3000 beat stick. You can summon it off of Arc Pendulum for extra damage. It's a level 8, so you can't Pendulum summon it, which is why we only played it 1. Uh, and its effect is decent. It says if an Odd Eyes card you control would be destroyed, you could destroy another Odd Eyes in your hand, Monster Zone, or Pendulum Zone instead. This is nice because it means if your opponent tries to Raigeki your field, you can pop one of your scales and save all your monsters instead. Or if they try to Twin Twister your scales, you can destroy one monster you control or in your hand to save them. 
Odd Eye's Pendulum Dragon I already talked about mostly, but it does have two pendulum effects. One lets you take no battle damage from one attack involving a pendulum monster, and the other lets it destroy itself in the end phase to search a pendulum monster with 1500 or less attack. Neither is all that useful, most of the time you're going to be summoning this and attacking with it, but in a worst case scenario, say you get hit by Drollin Lock, you can put this and Arc Pendulum in your scale, during the end phase this will destroy itself, and Arc Pendulum will search you a defensive wall. Uh, speaking of which, that's the main reason we play Odd Eye's Persona Dragon. It's got 2400 defense, and a quick effect that lets you target a monster that was summoned from the extra deck, and negate its effects until the end of the turn which can be pretty good if you need to go on the defensive, or if you need to bait out something with a negation like Cyber Dragon Infinity. It also has a pendulum effect that allows you to special summon it from the pendulum zone and replace itself with another Odd Eyes from your extra deck, but that only activates in the end phase of a turn your opponent targeted an Odd Eyes pendulum monster with an effect. So it pretty much never goes off. Its counterpart, Mirage Dragon, meanwhile, is mostly here just because it's a normal summonable pendulum monster. So you can use it to make Electromite, it's also an Odd Eye, so you can use it as fusion material, and it's the only other scale 8 we have, uh, so you can use it in a pinch in case you can't get your uh, Arc Pendulum Dragon. It does have a quick effect that lets you target an Odd Eyes and prevent it from being destroyed once that turn, which can occasionally be useful, but mostly we just use it as fodder. Our final monster and our main tech slot is Archfiend Eccentric. If it's in a pendulum zone, you can destroy it and one spell trap your opponent controls. If it's on the field, you contribute it to destroy one monster on the field. Uh, it's just a solid multi-purpose removal that can allow you to get rid of back row or bait out monster effects before you pendulum summon. And if nothing else, like I mentioned earlier, because it's normal summonable, it can be used as Electromite material. Despite how useful it is, though, if anything is going to be taken out of this deck for side deck, it's probably this. Uh, replace it with Red Reboot if you're dealing with a lot of traps. Infinite Impermanence can be good if your opponent has a ton of monster effects and you really need to disrupt them first turn. Called by the Grave if you're getting hit by a bunch of hand traps. Like I said, Droll and Lock kind of shuts this deck down. And Galaxy Cyclone if you're worried about spell traps that you can't or shouldn't destroy. As for the remaining cards in the main deck, it's mostly just search power and draw power. Spiral Flame Strike lets you add level 7 Odd Eyes from your deck to your hand. Or, if you already control an Odd Eyes card, you could target and destroy one card on the field, which is a nice bit of versatility. Uh, Terraforming obviously lets you get your field spell. Duelist Alliance lets you search a Pendulum monster with Pendulum in its name, as long as there is a card in your Pendulum zone which can be used either to search Odd Eye's Pendulum Dragon or Odd Eye's Arc Pendulum Dragon. And finally, there's Pot of Desires. This works great in the deck because the only card you really need is Arc Pendulum, which is searchable with Sky Iris, Spiral Flame Strike, Duelist Alliance, and Electromite. So it's not too hard to get this, and once you do, banishing 10 cards doesn't hurt you. Normally it just gives you two extra monsters in your hand so that you can pendulum summon them and hopefully end the duel that turn. Our two remaining cards are Raigeki and Dark Hole, which are just solid go second cards that can clear the field or bait out negations, allowing you to attack for game. If you end up going first, you can side both these out for our last remaining side deck cards. These are our go first options. Persona Dragon has that nifty monster effect negation, while Dissolver and Odd Eyes Fusion can both help you get out your Vortex Dragon more consistently so that you can negate your opponent's plays and set up for the OTK next turn. It's also worth mentioning here briefly at the end that Odd Eyes can actually make a really solid go first stun deck uh, with a bunch of changes to it. You focus on Vortex Dragon and Persona Dragon and really just stop your opponent from doing anything. If you wanted to put in the work, you could even design a conversion side deck that changes it from this beatdown variant to the stun variant, allowing you to go from overwhelmingly high attack to defensive stun on the fly. J just an idea. But anyway, there's the deck. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see Odd Eyes beat down in action, see some of the combos and how they're done, you can check out the main video where I'll be playing 10 random duels against opponents on YGO Pro and showing off how it works. Or if you're short on time, just check out the replay video. Both should be on the end card and linked down in the description. Anyway, until next time, good luck and have fun.